Good evening, I'm Faye Barker. This is ITV News London. A plaque's been unveiled in Southwark to remember a 20-year-old who died while trying to rescue a woman from the Thames. Jimmy Olabunmi Adewolye was on his way home from work last April when he heard the woman who'd fallen from London Bridge. He then jumped in to help her. 160,000 people had signed a petition to secure a plaque in his memory. Barbara Holmes has this report. Over the last two years, there have been many difficult days for Jimmy's parents. But today was different. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so, so, so happy for this uh, event of for today. For well, people remember him and uh, celebrate him always. I'm so happy for that. This permanent memorial to the 20 year old's bravery was unveiled this morning close to the spot where Jimmy leapt into the water with his friend Bernard. He is grateful his friend's memory can live on. Even before the plaque was revealed, my heart was pumping. I don't know where it was. I thought it was the thrill. But in the moment that I, I saw it, I was like, wow, a burst of tears. His life got taken short, but I don't mean you can't live on. And I feel like this itself, even when I'm gone, he will live on. In the shadow of Southern Cathedral, political, civil and religious leaders from across London came together to commemorate Jimmy's heroism. If you try and bottle up all the best things about humanity, the best things about our city, strength, selflessness, courage, character, humility, bravery, all those things are bottled up in this one man. Jimmy. He was born and raised in Southwark and was well known and loved within the community. Whenever I walk around, if I'm speaking to young people especially, they always, if I say follow Jimmy, they, oh yeah, yeah, follow Jimmy, we knew him, oh we knew him because he did this and he helped this person, he did this and, and I think for the community it means, it means a lot. While today's flowers will fade, this plaque will make sure Jimmy's memory lives on. Biber Holmes, ITV News, Southwark. There was a moderate air pollution warning across London today. Still air and foggy conditions meant pollution was trapped and unable to disperse. Well, over the next few days, people have been asked to avoid unnecessary car journeys to help keep pollution levels lower. The Mayor of London says he's doing everything in his power to tackle toxic air in the capital, including his controversial plans to expand the ultra-low emission zone. Chinese New Year celebrations have taken place in London to welcome in the Year of the Rabbit. The celebrations held in Chinatown are thought to be the biggest outside of Asia. It's the first time since 2020 that it's been able to go ahead here after coronavirus meant it was cancelled for two years. Now let's take a look at today's sport. Zero Accounting Software. Sponsors ITV Regional Sports Report. The women's Super League match between Chelsea and Liverpool was called off after just six minutes due to a frozen pitch. There's been criticism from both clubs' managers about why the game was allowed to go ahead in the first place and the standard of pitches used for the women's game. Meanwhile, in the Premier League, Brentford played away to Leeds. Neither team was able to find the net with the game finishing goalless. It puts Brentford one point off seventh place, keeping their hopes for European football alive. And Arsenal took on Manchester United in a goal-filled game, which is just finishing 3-2 to Arsenal. Among the goals, this impressive shot from outside the box from Bukayo Saka. Now for the weather, here's James Wright. Feels like home, whatever the weather. Valent Boilers and Heat Pumps, sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather. Hello there, good evening. Another fine day today. Lots of settled weather and the settled weather continues. We've also got a slight change in the air mass, but it's not really affecting temperatures down at ground level. The issue is, as that high moves out towards the west, get another little bit of chillier air 
uh, towards the back end of the week. But in more detail and closer to now, we've got the issue of freezing mist and fog patches once again. Yellow warning after midnight. Some of these freezing patches could get visibility down to 50 to 100 metres, so do take care if you're out and about. We've also got slippery surfaces because these temperatures getting down to minus five in places. So a cold, frosty start to the day tomorrow, at least some nice winter sunshine to help melt it back eventually. But we are starting to see a little bit of extra cloud pushing in from the west. So where you are under that cloud, three or four Celsius is really gonna feel rather cold. At least it should feel quite pleasant, even with those chilly temperatures further west. As far as Tuesday goes, very little wind, a bit more in the way of cloud. It might be bright from time to time, but this cloud is trapping that cold air underneath it. So four Celsius without the winter sunshine is going to feel a little bit cold and gloomy. Then as we start to move through to the middle part of the week, temperatures starting to rise, but a cold front will push down with it. Maybe a bit of drizzle on that. So back to cooler weather once again on Thursday. Valent sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather. Finally, a Line of Duty fans got a surprise last night when Adrian Dunbar sang at a jazz bar in Covent Garden. Well, the actor who plays Superintendent Ted Hastings in the police crime drama performed during saxophone player Leo Green's gig at QT Jazz Bar. Turns out he's interested in more than just catching bent coppers. That's all for now. We'll be back tomorrow morning with updates in Good Morning Britain. Until, uh, until then, bye-bye.